Hi and welcome to this DCP Way tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add product variations in your WooCommerce shop. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. And in our last tutorial, if we go back to the website, I showed you how to add this simple product, right? If we click on it, we can see that there's a t-shirt here. We've got the title, the price, the short description. We've got the SKU, the category, the tags. We've got alternative pictures here and we created this little table here just to show different sizes for this particular product the width and the height and the shoulder length and so forth if we go back to the shop and click on men's and we look at another example like this top one we can see there's a drop down menu here and this drop down menu is called a variation this is the products and these are the different variations small medium large and extra large right so we want to apply that same logic to this product here i'm going to show you how to do that on this particular product there's a couple of ways to do this inside of woocommerce right so i'm going to show you maybe um, a few different ways to do this but if we go into the admin control panel and really there's two ways to do this you can either create attributes uh, as a set a predefined set and that predefined set can be used against many different types of products and this is the way that i would advise you to do it or you can create an attribute that is specific to a, a particular product. For me, that's kind of not the logical way to do it, but it's entirely your choice how you do this. The, the better way to do it is to use attributes here. The reason why is because they can be reused many, many times across many different products. So, you know, taking logical sense, if you're selling men's t-shirts at small, medium, large and extra large, for example, then it would make sense that those values um, can be applied to many different products, not just a specific product, right? So if we were to click on this t-shirt, it's possible to add a, a variation only specifically for this t-shirt. But if you got small, medium, large and extra large of many different types of products, then it would make sense that you create an attribute and then apply that attribute to the product and reuse it many times. So we're going to click on attributes here. And I've already created one called size. And if I edit this or if I click configure items, you can see there's small, medium, large and extra large in here. As an example, a demo, right? But we're going to create a new one. So we'll click attributes here. And this example, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it men's, uh, let's just call it men's sizes, right? Oh, men, let's do men's sizes. And we don't need to put a slug in it. It's going to generate the slug off or the URL from this, this name here. And we can just do custom ordering is fine. And we'll click add attribute. So now we've got the, 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 uh, the name of the attribute. We don't actually have any values inside of it. So we're going to click configure item here. And in this example, uh, we need to give it a name. So the name of this attribute for this particular men's sizes. So the first one will be called small. And we'll click add this attribute. And then we've got medium. Medium. And we'll add this one. And then we've got large. And then we've got Excel, right? Extra large. And maybe we'll add a new one called... Um, extra small right so when I add these we've got extra small extra large large medium small which doesn't make sense they're in the wrong order so we want extra small at the top and um, let's just drag this one up one so then it's extra small small then we want the extra large at the very very bottom so we can just drag them and they'll, now they'll be in some sort of logical order right I'm not sure if that really is actually extra small maybe we should just edit this and actually call it extra small right and then the slug for it we can just copy this paste it here and then put a hyphen in between the words and make them lowercase if you ever edit something like this then you can do it this way just to override this and we'll click update and then we'll go back to the uh, sizes and we can see large medium extra small small so we need to reorder these properly right so let's do small at the very top the reason why we're reordering them is when we click on the drop down menu we want them to be in a logical order right uh, let's do extra small at the top uh, so we've got extra small small then we want medium and then large we've got medium large and then extra large right so this is like a set so if we go back to attributes here we can see we've got men's sizes, we've got these default sizes. Now this men's sizes can be applied to lots of different products. Could be t-shirts, could be shirts, could be um, you know jackets, and we can apply these attributes to a lot of different products now, right? So if we go back to products and then click on this t-shirt, 
and if we scroll down it says product data what is this is this a simple product is it a group product an external affiliate product for some external website it's a variable product so we're going to create a variable so we're going to select variable here and we're going to go to the attributes and in the attributes we're going to select men sizes you can see we've got this option in the drop down now because we've created the attributes over here previously so now we can select men sizes and click add and it says visible uh, on the product page and I'm going to untick this in fact we'll leave it ticked and I'll explain what it is but we want to use it for product variation so we need to select that and then inside here we're going to select extra small and we can select small and we can select medium we can select extra large and we can select or large and then extra large and it might be some products don't have extra small so you can just untick this one and maybe you just got small medium large and you can just have these three for example right and we're going to click save attribute here save it now we're going to go to the uh, product variations here variations and in the variations we're going to click create variations from all attributes and click go and then it's going to say to you what well, the software is saying okay i'm going to look at all of the sizes and i'm going to create an individual style of product for all of those sizes that you selected in attributes and we're going to click ok and it says it's created five variations which makes sense there's extra small small medium extra medium large and extra large right these are the five that we selected in the attributes here and we created those attributes here previously if we click on this drop down menu what's important is um, we could add a unique SKU for each product which would make sense so if we go back to inventory we can copy this SKU this is the original SKU and we can go back to product variation and for extra small we can paste in this SKU and then just do uh, we can just do like X S for extra small and then we need to put in a price we must put in a price the SKU is optional and we can move down to the small product and we can X expand this we'll paste it in here we just put the letter s for small and we put in 15 pounds here for the for the price and we'll go to the medium one we'll paste this in and we'll put the letter m for medium and then we'll do the uh, price here and then we'll expand this one we'll paste it in here and we'll do the letter l at the end for large and then we'll put in 15 pound here as well and we'll do extra large and you could actually change the price for the extra large one for whatever reason you might want to do that so let's just set it to 20 pound as in this example maybe there's more material it costs a bit more maybe the pattern takes a lot longer to do whatever it is it's a bit more expensive right and maybe the smallest one where's extra small maybe that one is a bit cheaper maybe that's 10 pounds for example so you've got 10 you've got now you can see what variations are we can have different sizes of product but they can also have different values as well so we can now click update and go back to the preview so we can say click here middle mass click to preview changes and now we can see choose your options if we select extra small and you can see it says from 10 pound to 20 pound because we put different pricing in if we click extra small then it says it's 10 pound small is 15 medium is 15 large is 15 and then extra large is 20 pounds so here you can see the drop down and we can also reflect the pricing here and if we click small you can see the sku is changing here as well like you've got medium and you've got large and so forth right so if we add that to the shopping basket as an example then uh, if we go to view the shopping basket we can click on this product it will take us back to here but when the customer places an order inside of the order itself it will have the sku number it will have a, a unique number um, for that particular product so it will have this this particular uh, number against the products what's been purchased and that's good for referencing later so if you want to reorder stock for a certain product then you know that you're running out of small or running out of medium then uh, woocommerce will notify you when you're starting to run low on stock as well so that's quite important okay so that's how we add product variations you could do colors as well so maybe in the next tutorial i'll show you how to do like sizing and colors maybe two different permutations so you can do quite complex um product variations it doesn't have to be just one drop down menu it can have many drop down menus for different styles and some of those drop down menus may not actually affect the price but uh you may have different colors for example so that's how you go about adding product variation to a specific product now remember when you go back to the attributes here the advantage of putting the attribute into here is that we can now use that on many different products and when we add a new t-shirt that's a men's size 
this extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large, all of those values for the drop down menu are already preset for us because we add it in as a default attribute. The other way to do it is to add it specifically for a product. In some rare cases, you might do that. You might have a product that just doesn't, you know, the, the, the drop down menu needs to contain something very specific for that product. It just doesn't get used very much anywhere else or only on that individual product. In that case, uh, you do the variation directly inside of the product. But my advice is use the attributes that will save you time. Okay, let's go ahead and minimize this. That's how you go about adding product variations in your WooCommerce shop for a specific product. Hopefully you find this tutorial useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 650 free video tutorials. And that's the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.